Millionaire hired stripper for son's 12th birthday. Yeah, this is a weird, weird world we live in. When I turned 12, I had a sleepover birthday party with my friends and we watched horror movies, but I guess times have changed. Well, it turns out I'm not the only one who thinks hiring a stripper for a 12 year old's birthday party is ridiculous. The footage from the party quickly went viral after it was shared on YouTube and other social media networks, and people are pissed. In the footage, you see this 12 year old with his shirt off and he's dancing with the strippers, and his dad is right there encouraging this behavior. And later on in the clip, he's getting a lap dance from two of the strippers. And one of the strippers places the young boy's hand on the other stripper's breast. Yeah, beyond inappropriate. It's bad enough a father thinks this is okay, but the fact that these two women are okay doing these kind of things with a 12 year old is a bit bizarre. The father has not been named, but it's been confirmed that he is a millionaire. And he allowed all of this to happen at his son's party in front of his friends and family members. It's been reported that the father did this hoping it would turn his son into a man. A man, really. This kid is 12, he's just beginning to go through puberty. And yeah, teaching him to objectify women from such a young age, what a man he's going to turn out to be. A lot of people are are saying that this is child abuse and pedophilia, and they are trying to have charges placed against the father. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this story. Do you think what this father did was okay or widely inappropriate? Let me know your answers down below. Hey guys, thank you for joining me on this beautiful Friday. I'm Court McGinley. TGIF, we made it to the weekend. Let me know what you guys have planned down in those comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this awesome channel of ours if you haven't already. And make sure you show us some love by giving this video a big thumbs up. All right, as you guys know, we have a lot of interesting news stories headed your way, so without further ado, Let's get started. Next, the mystery over the death of 15 million Aztecs may be solved after nearly 500 years. Scientists are now saying that they have discovered the cause of an epidemic that struck Mexico in 1545 and that killed over 15 million people. 24 skeletons buried in the cemetery in southern Mexico were dug up and scientists were able to extract DNA from their teeth. The DNA was analyzed using a new piece of software that allows scientists to screen for any known pathogen. About this, one of the lead researchers said, this is groundbreaking for our field of ancient DNA. We can look for the unknown, which is wonderful. According to the results, the symptoms are similar to those mentioned in records from that time, which describes the victims developing red spots on their skin, vomiting, and bleeding from various orifices. It's been reported in the past that when the Europeans arrived in Mexico in the 16th century, they brought many diseases with them. The cause of the epidemic has been debated for years. Was it measles, pneumonic plague, influenza? No one was sure. After testing, the salmonella strain was found in 10 of the 24 skeletons. Ancient DNA breaks down over time, so the fact that the strain was found in 10 of the 24 skeletons is pretty significant. As it stands, more research needs to be done to find out if salmonella was the sole cause of the epidemic or if other viruses were involved. But this is definitely a huge step forward. Next, earlier this week, Landon talked to you guys about Larry Nassar, who was the team doctor for the Olympic gymnasts. It's been reported that he's abused over 140 women, including Olympic champion Simone Biles. The most recent person to come forward is a teammate of Simone's, and Olympic gold medalist gymnast, Michaela Maroney. She said that she was forced to sign a confidential settlement with the group that trains US Olympic gymnasts to keep allegations that she was sexually abused by Nassar a secret. In a lawsuit filed this week, Michaela says Nassar started to abuse her when she was just 13 in the US national team training camp, and it continued for the rest of her competitive career. At the time of the assault, Nassar told her that she was receiving medically necessary treatment that he had been performing on patients for over 30 years. Michaela's attorneys revealed that she was a abused between 50 to 100 times by this man, including during the world championships. Nassar has admitted to sexually assaulting female gymnasts, possessing child porn, and molesting girls who sought treatment. He was sentenced earlier this month to 60 years in federal prison for possessing thousands of images of child porn. Next, the Grammys will be airing live on January 28th at 7.30 on CBS, and people are really excited about it. It's been revealed that Miley Cyrus is set to hit the stage with five-time Grammy winner Elton John. We will also get to see Sam Smith, Cardi B and Bruno Mars perform. Let me know down in the comments who you're most excited to see. Next, Jim Carrey has been voted the greatest comedy actor of all time. I mean, no surprise there, Jim Carrey is great. I'm pretty sure the first movie I ever saw him in was Liar Liar, which if you haven't seen it, you need to watch it because it's hilarious. However, his first hit film and breakout role was in Ace Ventura Pet Detective, which was released in February of 1994. This film cost $15 million to create and made $107 million worldwide. Then in July of that same year, The Mask came out and it topped the box office even while competing against hit movies like The Lion King, Forrest Gump, and Black Beauty. He definitely has a gift. Let me know your favorite Jim Carrey movie down in the comments. And it's 
of time on the Movie Pro, but you guys know it's super cool, awesome movies are hitting box office this weekend. And we have 12 Strong, Den of Thieves, and Forever My Girl. All right, let's start off with 12 Strong. This movie's rated 14A, and it's a drama war history movie. In this movie, you'll see Chris Hemsworth, Michael Shannon, Michael Penna, Naveed Nagman, Jeff Stoltz, and more. This movie is based off of real life events and the best selling book, Horse Soldiers. It's a powerful new war drama movie. In the wake of 9 11, Captain Mitchell Nielsen leads a US Special Force team into Afghanistan for an extremely dangerous mission. Once there, the soldiers develop an uneasy partnership with the Northern Alliance to take down the Taliban and its Al Qaeda allies. Outgunned and outnumbered, Nielsen is forced to face overwhelming odds in a fight against a ruthless enemy that takes no prisoners. Take a look. We're fighting with horsemen against tanks. Weapon in history is this. Next, we have Den of Thieves. This movie is rated 14A and it's an action movie. This movie follows the intersecting and often personally connected lives of an elite union of the LA County Sheriff's Department and the state's most successful bank robbery crew as the outlaws plan a seemingly impossible heist on the Federal Reserve Bank of downtown LA. Here's a clip. Do you look like the types who arrest you? No one could see that. Put you in handcuffs, drag you down to the station. We just shoot you. And finally, Forever My Girl. This movie's rated PG and it's a comedy drama family movie. It's said that if you like Nicholas Sparks' movie, then this movie is for you. One of the biggest country music stars in the world, Liam Page, left his bride, Josie, at the altar eight years ago, choosing fame and fortune instead. However, Liam has never gotten over Josie, nor forgotten his southern roots in the small community that he was born and raised in. When he unexpectedly returns to his hometown for the funeral of his high school best friend, Liam is suddenly faced with the consequences of all that he left behind. Here's a clip. Billy. How old are you, Billy? I'm seven. I didn't find out that I was pregnant until a couple weeks after what was supposed to be our wedding day. What's going on down there, Liam? Turns out I have a daughter. And there you guys have it. That's all the stories I have for you today. I hope you all have a great weekend. Let me know down in the comments what your plans are. And also let me know if you're planning to see any of the movies I just mentioned. Personally, I want to see all of them. I think they all sound amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.